Hi, I'm Mike Hudson, director of the Museum of the American Printing House for the Blind. Our Monday mystery object is maybe not much of a mystery. Uh, it's obviously a safe. But why did the American Printing House for the Blind have such a big safe? First, a little description. So um, this is a uh, 19th century safe from the Hall Safe and Lock Company that's painted in gold leaf right there on the front of it. It's about, oh, 60 inches tall, maybe 48 inches wide, maybe about three feet deep. It has two big doors on the front with big handles and then a combination dial. We'll pull it open there. But as you can see, it's very highly decorated. It's painted uh, with, uh, on the front. It's got a scene of a uh, kind of a wrecked boat on a seashore, uh, clouds overhead, and then there's all sorts of flowers and uh, decorative cartouche and a lot of gold leaf, a lot of gold pinstriping on it. So the Hall Safe Company was founded in 1867 in Cincinnati, Ohio. By 1892, it supplied about half of all of the fireproof and burglar-proof safes sold in the United States. So a big, powerful company. And uh, the printing house actually bought this safe in July of 1880. Uh, right after the passage of the Act to Promote the Education of the Blind. And um, actually, it's one of the few pieces of equipment that are here at the printing house today that were originally used when APH was located next door at the Kentucky School for the Blind. We didn't move into this building where we're at right now until uh, 1883. So, uh, and the safe actually stayed at Kentucky School for the Blind until 1912. Too big, probably, to bring over. And they finally got it over here in 1912. But why did we have a safe? So really two reasons. Today, uh, companies can operate really largely cash-free. Um, you write checks, you, you know, everything is all handled electronic transfer and that sort of thing. But back in the 1880s, there were a lot more cash transfers. Whenever a delivery was made, the delivery, uh, the delivery man would have to be paid in cash. And so APH had a lot more cash on hand for those kinds of expenditures. So we need a safe to store that. But more importantly, when the printing house embossed books, on the covers of uh, most of these books, they, uh, cut the, the title of the book was stamped on the spine and on the front of the book in gold or silver foil. Um, that gold or silver foil comes in big boxes, but it's super thin stuff and it was used to, you know, to make the titles. It's really valuable stuff, and so you had to have a safe place to store it uh, before you actually ended up putting the titles onto the books. So I know what you're thinking. What's inside the safe now? Let's take a look. Lovely pears. Shucks. Geraldo would be disappointed. There's nothing there now. Did you get the Geraldo reference? <laughs>